Good morning guys, welcome back to Vintage Story. I hope you enjoy this video, it's slightly unusual because I had a Windows update and I was so enthusiastic about what I was doing in Vintage Story I forgot to check the audio settings. So unlike my normal videos where I just chat and record as I go, this recording is me showing you what happened and just talking you through everything because believe me a lot happened. I hope you enjoy it. Right guys let's start with this end of the story. Okay here we go. It's night outside but we won't worry too much about that. Right I decided that I needed to find my other translocator. So I decided to go into my home cave and just have a look to see if I could find it in case I managed to get another temporal gear because when I started I had two temporal gears and two metal parts and of course I needed the other temporal gear. So the first thing I did, I don't know if you can see, let me show you on the, oops, on the big map. I actually have two now, that was Cassarite, and this, which I need to take out, but this one was Waypoint 43, this was my house, and I actually put 126, which is the level it's at. I then th measured to the translocator room one, which is 87 and I found my other translocator here which is 40 waypoint 45 but this is at 155 and that's pretty close it, it's not too far away from the whole thing so what happened here was that this is under these huge mountains and I decided not to come up but to actually go down to this translocator I don't know if all that makes sense but it will do when I show you so coming down here all right and I've almost got this spawn proof I think there's the odd uh, block somewhere that might not be right let's close that now down here you will note that this empty room I must fill that hole up have I got anything to I do not and what's more I am not taking a I should not take a temporal gear but I I will not it's not a temporal gear it's an ordinary gear and I'll show you why I was carrying them in a minute let me take this up here there are some things that you just don't want to take with you in case you lose them. I shall now have to remember where I've put that. Right, here we go. Okay, so we have a doorway here now. And I started out here, and I knew that I had come down. I did some caving up here and took a load of stuff out, and I found a new vein of iron so I had been mining a huge amount of iron and then I came up here and I knew I'd come across here around this area all my torches have gone out so it's flipping dangerous up here right here we go and then you can see the other ladder here was where I was going up to find things and I found my translocator here and it is now I have buried it can you see I knocked this bit off because I kept getting drifters on my head and then it is actually buried under all this stone so what we will do is just knock a bit of the stone out to get into it or into the passageway to it and you may ask yourself, why has she put so much stone? And the answer is to try and make it safe. 
And so here is my new translocator room. This bit has had to be filled in. I have a lantern in it. And we have various things. <laughs> I'm going to take this with me. I had run out of tools. So, actually, let me leave that there because I want to show you. I got, I decided that I would sort out the way out of it um, before I sorted out the rest of it. So, this is, I came in over the top of it and found it from the top. I then dug down towards my other room because that was better than uh, digging up from where I was under the mountains. So this is our way down, which I'm trying desperately to make um, proof. But look, under here, this is where I die showing you things. Yes, go away. Yep, and you. Horrible thing. There is where my cursor is. There is actually, oh, go away, an aphid nest. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's kill you too. I just want a quick look, guys. Come on, let me have a quick look. Oh, go away. Right, now we have to heal, of course. I'm going to have to buy more sulphur at this rate. But, where's the nest? It's actually there. And I thought I'd show you, in case you haven't seen one of these, it's absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to pick it up whole. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But alas, you cannot pick them up whole. You just have to destroy them. So, of course, I've got more metal scraps and another cave to enjoy and more saltpeter to take up. So that all was a, a wonderful surprise to come out in the middle of a nest of aphids. But I'm glad I showed it to you because it is gorgeous. But I'm actually pretty close here. Let's just put that on there. I think I need a lantern on there to light me home. And then this brings me back to the cave where we started and the route was over there. I'm very much thinking of filling this in and putting a doorway in, yes. Let's not fight anybody else today. Have I any food on me? Of course I haven't. So we'll just pop back and get some food. So that's where I started by caving upwards because I was, remember thinking that I hadn't completely raked out this enormous home cave. And I'm so glad I did because the iron I found was fantastic. And finding my other translocator was obviously very, very good. Finding the nest of aphids, not so good, but nonetheless excellent. So let's come up here. It should be daylight now. It's not daylight yet. God, the nights are long here, aren't they? Right, food is what I need. So let me go and quickly grab some. Now, I don't store much food at the moment, guys. Um, I'm playing single player, which makes life a lot easier. So if I want food, and the reason I don't have food, of course, is that I have uh, left it through the portal. But I think what we'll do is just go and quickly grab some food. And this is sort of hand to mouth how I'm living, which is actually no bad thing, because I'm pretty well uh, protected in this garden. Are these ripe? They are not. Are these ripe? They are not. That was my last food source. Uh, parsnip. Yes. Have I any other root vegetables I can eat? No. So I'm going to have to exist. Oh, hang on. Those onions are ready. So we're. Yep. Yep. Those are ready too. Being a bit careful because I think I've got a double crop of are those ready? Yes, we'll take the whole lot. And this is just me talking you through. We're gonna have to go down the water to make sure there isn't any. And I am occasionally with this pattern, 
it's very easy because everything is in um, I'm building up to 24 of each which seems about the right amount but you can see on my bar that I've actually got 25 so I got an extra extra crop there which is fantastic and these take P do we have P here we do all right let's just take this good it is absolutely wonderful having so many fields fallow not just because I'm gradually gaining on the crops is the P in that one yes right but also because I'm getting some horsetail right there we go where I'm going we do not want to be without food right well achieved one thing and destroyed that aphid's nest right okay let's go so coming along here right and as I said my I didn't realize it but the other trans porter yes oops have I been hit by some oh for goodness sake honestly go away right but the other transporter room is right under the mountain anyway having destroyed the aphids nest I am hoping that they won't spawn again but there's probably a few hidden under blocks can you feel the slight lag there guys um, this map and world is now getting very very big <laughs> so we'll go through the darkness this this is starting to become a whole transporter network here which is fantastic oops which is fantastic and also of course um, I know that I've got a third one somewhere in here so I found three of these transporters now it took me I'm at what nearly 150 hours of gameplay here so it took me that long to get two of them going of course I tend to avoid confrontation with the uh, wretched things but there you go uh, do we need saltpeter on us we do not right here we go all right so another working translocator that's what I want not transponder or transporter translocator and I came out obviously the bed wasn't here but I came out in this little room I've had to build it in and coming out here there is a lantern in there of course I found myself in this sort of area and it's rather dangerous uh, oh, up here I just need to put a little bit of light up here yeah this may well be filled in but at the moment I'm using it for mining granite but through here we have a real invitation to disaster look at this guys I've already got quartz down there but this is a ravine this is a ravine it, it doesn't look like a I think it comes out on the surface too so again and do you feel the lag guys come on yeah I'm getting quite a bit of lag at the moment so this is where I came out I had fortunately brought a lantern with me I had of course brought a chest with me and that's where I'm storing some food uh, the hay bed was made here the wooden bed I had to go home and get a saw but you know it's really like living in your own basement actually now it's dark and night upstairs of course it's darkness and night why wouldn't it be hopefully the dawn will be coming so I came up and this rock conglomerate rock I have never never seen before I also go up through limestone at one point as well and then look what I came up into I came up into a clay deposit 
So I came up into a clay deposit. You can tell I've been doing work here. Um, and look, absolutely nothing except there is a trader here and there is my base here which has had work done on it and this is mine as well now the interesting thing is that there are ruins around but they're not really showing up on the map but the other interesting thing about the map to me is that I've got I think these are lupins and I think that these are heather and I think these are the normal um, blue flowers I get around my base but over here I have also found some other flowers which I will show you when it gets light now where are we moon wise the moon is going down let's go and sleep and yes I am sleeping downstairs I think if we grab a little sleep so that it comes daylight and then I can show you the rest of this area. Here we go. Quick sleep. It should use up most of the night. blackness darkness here we go yeah and it's even lighter down here when it's daylight i tell you right here we go and we have of course a hatch so i can see what time of day it is yes this is where i go through the limestone so i've acquired limestone and then we go through this conglomerate stone which is a an amazing muddy color i've tried it as a cobblestone it doesn't look that great actually but to come out in a clay deposit when clay is something I have been looking for is fantastic. So, came out here and absolute emptiness. The sense of space and emptiness is unbelievable. There is the trader. This is, I think you would call it Misa. And look over there. Yes, hyenas from these lines of rocks towards that area is all, and you can see it that way, where this faint line is, all this lighter green is where the hyenas are, including here. And this is, I think this is rock or sand. I haven't quite been out here yet. Um, I've mostly been getting myself set up. I have found some reeds, which are, you can see the ponds. We've got lots of Cooper's reeds, which is great. I've not really been very far in that direction. Over there looks like bee country because that's got the very, very hot savanna look. And that just looks like bee country. We've got hyenas prowling my entire perimeter, which is why we are up here. Uh, it's all fenced off already. I mean, this is a sort of area. I mean, you've got no trees that you would be delighted to actually uh, find yourself spawning in, surrounded by hyenas and nothing to build with, but the trees are over there. I also found myself in the middle of a herd of sheep. So coming over here, yeah, there we go. Lots of flowers, lots of sheep. So I have put in, as you can see, a trough and some hogs and pigs have come in. So I've got pigs, I've got baby pigs, I've got sheep, I've got three rams and I've got little sheep as well. So we have a, a vast animal empire starting. Um, but what I did want to show you is I came over here to this area of sort of greenery I found copper, there's copper lying on the surface, which I haven't yet marked, but look at this, guys. This darker green is dwarf furs. Isn't it pretty? 
So that's a flower that I haven't got yet. So I've got a new flower. The other thing also over here is that there are quite a few berry bushes, which is a joy to have. And looking over there, we've got pine, more and more flowers. Look at this. And then coming down here, yes, this is the one I thought I would have, which is heather. And I haven't got this one. So that's two new flowers. Wonderful. As you know, guys, never mind all the things that people love about this game, the mining and everything. And of course, we've got catnip. That's the name I couldn't remember of the flower that grows all around me. Now there's a hog over there, but I think that there's some darker blue here. That's the cat mint. So if I look here, I think those are lupins. The darker blue is cat mint. This is heather. And if we go, let me just get my orientation right. Yeah, I think I need to go. I thought you might like to have a little explore with me yeah up here is where I want to go Got all these beautiful ponds and I haven't been out this way so we've got the furs I've got Heather we're coming out here I can hear the ducks I'm being very careful I don't know I haven't seen wolves out here just masses of hyenas we've got a whole family of hogs over there so there's a lot of pigs and sheep here, which is great if you just spawned in. Coming up here exploring. Yeah, these are big heather patches. But I think that over here, I think these are lupins. They are absolutely fantastic. Is that the rare purple lupin? blue flowers did i hear hyenas they're over there right so we have blue i think is normal yep we have the red we've got the purple i think red i think the purple one is the rare one there are four Purple, red, blue, and I think the other one is white, but I think the purple is the rare one. Sarity is going to have to tell me. Yeah, lots and lots of flowers. Look at this, guys. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I know. And we've got lots of berry bushes out here. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, Let's run home a bit. Isn't it gorgeous, this whole area? Of course, I love flowers. Anything with loads of flowers in is, uh, is happy making for me. But it's got lots and lots of animals. Um, but unfortunately, that means lots and lots of hyenas. Oh, piggies, go away. But I've also found quite a few um, seeds and roots. Five out of seven, four. No, I'm letting all these grow. Um, until they reach full height and then I can collect them uh, where am I I need to go that way yeah okay so I will of course come out and collect all these we've got cranberry bushes I haven't seen blueberry bushes out here are these anywhere near ready they look pretty good yes Those two will give me a seed. Six might, yes. Good. Excellent. So quite a fertile area. Loads and loads of crops. That should give me a seed. Yes. Oh, look at this. Guys. Oh, no. Just take the sixes. Yeah. So berry bushes, crops, animals and endless hyenas. Now the hyenas I've noticed are actually spawning in very big packs. So it's quite a task, I think, keeping them away from me. And I have to keep, I thought that that thing that was 
flashing in front of me. Oh, you're a rabbit. I was afraid it was um, a hyena. Let's come back home, unload our gear. Yes, and these are berry bushes I've already collected, harvested the berries and of course planted. Uh, the entrance is not the best, but there's a whole clay field here that is going to have to be dug out. Uh, let's plant the crops little by little and of course having a hoe is great those are flax yes so this is all new soil so great not that one you can see how much I've been collecting so we've got white lupins sorry purple white red and blue fantastic we now have heather i'm going to leave the dry grass here i'm going to leave the horsetail here okay and those can come on my bar and in fact be eaten and then we'll go and see the trader who is quite an interesting guy because he's a trader i haven't come across before now sword at the ready because uh, we are heading into enemy territory by the way I have the most enormous uh, cave down there and I think that's the end of the ravine that I found near my uh, translocator so this is where the copper is which is pretty close so I think that cave's going to bring me into copper um, I'm just checking whether those plants have grown yet but they've not grown yet now the trader is tucked in under these mesas and there's hyena spawning points on that side which is not ideal so this is going to have to be protected as well but look at this guy he's a clothier he will buy clothes 10 leather i didn't even know we could make leather and look at his cells. I've just bought a moss embroidered belt, a sturdy leather belt. Look at these snazzy purple boots. I've got that already. A stained leather poncho, merchant shoes, a shepherd's tunic. I haven't bought that. And a minstrel hat. I didn't even know we had minstrels. So I have spent most of the gears I had found in various caves. Um, and I found a lot of gears. I found five gears. Um, when I came through the translocator portal here and an open chest so most of that has already been spent on my clothing collection guys but we now have a base that is actually situated on a clay field and I know that I'm going to take out most of the clay from here and fill it with something but I'm not sure with what but that sorts out my clay right so and up here as i said the start of a garden some of the earth is being left fallow of course but what a place to be guys and so much to explore i'm sure there are bees over there i'm absolutely sure there are bees over there so you can imagine coming out here standing down there on a clay field and there was absolutely nothing and I can't quite get over the sense of light and space that this world manages to generate it's the most incredible feel to it you feel the space in these areas don't you beautiful so we now have another uh, base for collecting things um, and more importantly a totally different area where I can go and caving and see what I can find and who knows what I will find in these caves. So, um, right, let's go back. Wow. <laughs> But I was getting lag at the other end, guys. I will tell you that. 
So we now have to, uh, hopefully our way home is a bit uh, better now. It seems odd to go down when you're actually going up, but it, it's sometimes an easier route. I did not want to go up through masses of mountains. But the other thing is I found a home cave that needs exploring. And there is a lot down there, guys. Let me just show you. I've taken out, these can do damage if you bounce onto them. Um, there are these things down here that give you, uh, this gives you metal spikes. I'm not really trying to cave here. I just want to see if this goes anywhere. No, that's a dead end, right. Well, at least we know that down is a dead end. But I will take all these out, I think, because actually the spikes don't give me anything. Yeah, but this I think I come back, yeah, into one of the areas. No, I'm not familiar with that. That is just a pit. I am not familiar with this area. Hmm. Right. And of course we will take down the saltpeter to see whether anything is underneath. I'm just having a look because those little aphids used to lurk under here. Nasty little things. I would love to have got that nest, you know. Yeah, and this is just a, a you know, going to be a, a gauntlet of fear. If I don't get it properly lighted, sorted out, and a structure around it, it's going to be have to be like the sort of nether portals you get, uh, or nether passages you get in Minecraft where you have glass so that you can see the outer cave. Right, so coming up here, and you can see that we've now got our translocators strung out on the map. Pretty fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> so I've now found myself in an area of high fertility with K-pop trees and all sorts of gorgeous things. I found myself in a most amazing desert. I finally completed my lupin collection and got two more flowers. And as you know, I like collecting things, guys. I, I love the idea of collecting things. It's uh, finding things, exploring and collecting is what I like doing. But I know a lot of people say, well, why don't you just play creative? Where's the challenge in that? There is absolutely no challenge to me in playing creative. Mike it might be becoming a bit too much challenge at the moment to play in this one but I just want to show you my clothing chest which is or chests and this is looking a bit extreme guys <laughs> I almost need some sort of wardrobe or frame or some way of using them as I mean they're gorgeous I've these I smelted for the embroidered belts. I was wearing a jailer's belt, which I missed to picked up without knowing. And that's the sturdy leather belt. But you will see, guys, that now I actually have, if you look at my belt, I don't have the messenger shirt, but I have the messenger boots, trousers. I've got the tunic. I've got a beautiful blue scarf over it which looks great I've got the messenger hat and the messenger belt matches the knee pads and the top of the boots so I am a messenger isn't that lovely so guys on that note um, you have missed hours of digging and surprises and things like that um, but that's the way it goes with Windows updates I was a fool not to check I was just too engrossed in what I was doing Bye-bye, guys.